if your extension cord gets damaged at the end, the acceptable way to repair it is to put a plug attachment like this onto the end. Now this plug end you can see is quite a bit larger than your typical plug end, but it will still work in most places. Every once in a while you might have an application where you know, you're trying to plug in and it won't quite fit. Here's an example, it does still fit, but you can see um, if it was much, if this was much smaller, the size could be problematic, but it works in most cases. Now, when an extension cord gets nicked, usually um, besides the wires that are inside, there are also fibers that are continuous from one end to the other, so that when you're pulling on the wire, when you're pulling on this extension cord, the fibers inside are helping with the strength of pulling and not actually pulling the electrical wires themselves. And if it's nicked, you may be able to see some of those fibers uh, as well as the wires inside. Now, when one of these cords is, is sliced um, you, and those fibers have been severed, I have seen people use epoxy glue to kind of reconnect the, fi the ends of the fibers and also um, encase the wires inside and protect them further. Um, but that's not, it, it'll work, but it's not really acceptable in industry. Also, if it's nicked, uh, it's not acceptable to just wrap it with electrical tape in a commercial application. Now, if you're fixing your cord by putting one of these attachments on the end, they do come, both ends are available. So you really can repair your cord in an acceptable way. Just keep in mind, the plug end and both ends are going to be quite a bit larger than they originally were. I realize it's not as convenient as it once was. You've got little ends of screws hanging out here that might get hung up on stuff and it's not as attractive, but an electrical cord isn't really attractive anyway in the first place. So if it's a difference between being able to use your cord again or not, um, just wanted you to know you can replace the end. Okay, now this is another way you could repair the end of your extension cord. It's very unconventional, but uh, obviously the plate is missing right now, but we've been using it for quite a while and it works great. This is not going to be acceptable in industry, but uh, for home use, um, it's pretty simple and we found it works just fine. Here's another example one we've been using. This is a me sturdy metal box and it works great. So there's some ideas about how you might be able to get some more use out of your extension cord.